big topic. Greg here again. Uh, you don't have to go far in Sioux City, and I'm being 100% serious, to find something out of the ordinary or completely just fucking disgusting. These are what you call mounds and large trucks, and there's a Mercy, you know, medical van over there. I remember, um, like, uh, in a bunch of cones and stuff, likely a lot of dead bodies back there, literally. I remember watching uh, Mercy Healthcare back here go figure their van. Let's get a close up on that. I remember a uh, a news station when I was staying in Las Vegas. I can't remember which one. It doesn't matter. A syndicate doing a uh, news story on something. I was very proud of the uh, station because it's very lacking in current modern day America. Is uh, independent journalism or real? relevant journalism they were doing a story on body dumping by uh by uh hospitals poor healthcare, as i call it and uh which is very real um i think we all know far too often people or people go into uh hospitals if they don't have money in this country a lot of times people come out worse if they come out at all than, than when they went in. And not too far from here, because I've been down here before, is Siouxland Paramedics. It's down that way a little bit. Go figure along a mass uh, dike. I mean, I'm, it's basically the Knife River. That's what it's called, the Knife River. I think they think it's cute to call it the Knife River. It was called the Old Sioux at one time, and we're, I'm likely walking on a mass grave site here <coughs> not too it's convenient I suppose for their cause to have Sioux and paramedics right by their death fields and the levees where they you know just out in the middle of the day now this lot's been gone over many times you can see the fresh tracks likely left by machines like that I learned long ago by listening to conversation of men who do such things you know in a off of a restaurant that you know, that they combine people down into fields, which I know they do. And I can, there's other ways I know things that, if you don't know, I do factually happen. I don't mind speaking them. <coughs> now there's going to be lumps and perforations all along the, this. If we can get down, you'll see that's not an even natural landscape that's been uh, gone over several times with large trucks burying people likely you know chopping up their remains into uh you know fertilizer and whatever you want to call it it's all semantics when it comes down to that thank you i don't um <coughs> we got you know it's uh i i one sec I'm aware of, depending on where you're at in the country, it's, we're all kind of living in a bubble, so I know this happens all over the country because I've been, been there, but yes, mass genocide in instances like I've just been explaining happen around here, and I know happen anywhere I go. Um, I do know for a fact, just by being myself for the past seven years since I was, you know, vividly aware that they began uh, tailing me after I tried to commit suicide by cop. I won't go into a long, rambling story, but um, this kind of shit follows me wherever I go, and I don't mind documenting it. I hope it stops. I uh, There's a UPS truck. Hey. When you see a UPS truck, do what I do. Give them the Heil 5 or the Mid-American Energy, big stupid trucks like that. If you don't, seriously, you uh, very well could be a victim to be cordoned and shot upon sight for not giving the uh, UPS or the Mid-American trucks the Heil 5, literally. Um, yeah, we got plenty of fresh tracks here. They probably use this as, and as you can see over here, uh, yeah, we got, 
lot of perforation in the grass here. What, why isn't that the same as the rest? Probably because it's fresh, dried over death. It is. And we're going to see what they, you know, disgustingly called the Knife River here in a minute. What are they putting back here, together back here? Yeah, a lot of fabrication. Huh. I don't think they got to worry about a... Well, yeah, they got they got a lot to worry about. They're fucking. I got, okay, I'm gonna speed this fast as I can. Likely fresh death behind there too. Oh, the old Sioux City Foundry. Nothing against. Yeah, yeah, a lot against. I suppose people. Now back here you'll see. It's called a levee system. They down there in the ground. I. I'm talking about that uh, little trench there. And I'll, you'll have more of those as we go along the Knife River here in a bit that they use to d dispose of bodies, waste, body matter, fluids, anything they want to get rid of. Oh, now over here, and this is very serious, likely a, you know, a fresh grave. I'll be the first person to admit, in my mind, that I think there is a time people deserve to die. Um, but that's my opinion. Never on a formal government fucking kill list level, which the government and the man who's run, the head of the show, I know he's not the only one by far. I mean, let's, who are we kidding? But he certainly is the one calling the shots and covering it up and fucking lying to the American people. What I liked about Barack when he first got in office, his ability to uh, <coughs> relate to the, uh, the American people that things are going to be okay. And he's, he's very, he's got a very good uh, speak. He's not like George W. He's not a fucking idiot. Uh, speech wise, they're both fucking idiots in my mind. But uh, yeah, George W. would go out there and give a speech and you'd be confused a little while. What did that WW dumbass just get done saying? But uh, it's kind of what concerns me about Barack these days. He's still, well, we're going to stay the course and everything will be fine. And fuck that. Bullshit, motherfucker. There's genocide and mass death going off my community. And I take that very personally. We got... <coughs> now we're almost, we're getting to the Death River. Knife River, as we call it. It used to be the big sewer, the little sewer. Fuck you. <coughs> okay. We're going to go up a little mound. I'm sure we're going to have bumps along here and stepping over fresh death. Or not fresh, more like grown over death. Death warmed over, grown over. Yep. Here she be. I've been back here before. I, that's how I've learned a lot of the things that I've learned. Uh, that you're not supposed to speak about. Well... I feel perfectly fine speaking about it because, well, yeah, in my mind it's appropriate. It's not appropriate for everybody. This is Knife River. Right down there, yonder piece of Siouxland paramedics, which they likely just, they do, do a lot of body dumping. I call it horror health care in this country if you don't have enough money to afford reliable health care, then you're fucked, which is why I, s but it's not all bad, I've learned a lot of survival skills from having to cure myself of certain fucking sure death if I didn't cure myself uh, out in the elements, that's past tense, I'm very much an optimist, believe it or not, but yeah, I think it's appropriate, perfectly appropriate, to fucking bitch if you want to call it that, when there's fucking mass genocide and innocent people everywhere getting slaughtered or fucking intimidated by our U.S. government. It's nothing against the U.S. people. We don't need any of those blood patriots, kind of like the ones <coughs> that were so vocal when Roseanne Barr, who I love, you love you, Rosie. Uh, I don't know her personally yet, but um, when she's gouged the national anthem 
and you know grabbed her junk and spit on the field. I thought that was perfectly appropriate for a uh, adult comedian. Um, blood patriots, so that's my term for it. The kind of people that fucking made her life a living hell because she did exactly what I would have expected, and anybody else with a brain would have been upset about. And surely the media pumped that fucking out. Kind of like um, another instance: uh, the Dixie Chicks when they were perfectly appropriate. Colin, I don't remember the exact. I'm, don't quote me on this. They said George W. was kind of a piece, of, as I would explain, piece of shit, but in their own words. And then the next thing we have on news or news media in this country. Uh, a picture of a bulldozer going over mounds of Dixie Chick albums. You don't think that wasn't set up? Well, let's think about this. How many citizens do you know that own mass bulldozers? How many people do you know that are going to go out and buy thousands of Dixie Chick CDs, get their mass bulldozer they got stuffed in their, you know, parking, and go over them with the media conveniently being, being there? It was a way to make people, it's a way to brainwash society and to think, well, shit, they can't do that, you know, they got you to see exactly what they wanted, it was on the screen, it wasn't factual journalism, it was just government fucking covert operation, what they awfully refer to as fun and games, literally, it's a term sometimes used by the government. Um, it's basically covert operations, basically fucking with people um, in uh, our land and others, and uh, fucking with their lives, killing them, you know, covert operatives who have protection from our government to do what they want to and not have to pay penalty. Holy shit! On a stick, what is this? No unauthorized V. Pickles, no trespassing on flood control structures. We're under bridge structures. Holy fuck of a turd! I don't give a shit. I knew. I didn't see that sign to begin with. They didn't have that clearly posted back where I started walking. Fuck them. Fuck you! <clears throat> Go tell somebody, Greg Redden, motherfucker. All right, um, I was just wanted to document some death fields since we're going so closely by the Suwon Paramedic and the uh, oh the Mercy Van back there by the fresh burial ground. Oh, we already got a drone. There's some something back there cleaning that shit up. Oh, yep, already got somebody back there mowing that grass. They got to pretty that up. It's amazing how quickly they snap into action to clean up the mess. And that's why we'll have more messes. You know what time it is when, or a perfect time for uh, more regulation and stuff, and I'm being completely facetious here, is when, uh, you know, like for instance, there's a lot of people that have been involved in this death, and yeah, when this shit happens, it's not a need to go looking for reasons to prosecute more people and have more committees and oversight. Fuck no. It's the perfect time for it just to fucking stop. It's my very liberal belief. I don't think I'll ever see it tra transcend, but that man and animal were not meant to be caged and held in prisons and jails and cages. Um, it's my belief that if you're like a lunatic, uh, let's just think of a name, George W. Bush, it's probably likely appropriate that a, a war criminal of such nature should be, you know, taken out back and shot in the head. Now, I'm not suggesting that. I certainly wouldn't do it. I mean, come on. Let's face it. He's a war criminal. He gets to walk freely in the America, but, uh, you know, I have a feeling he probably doesn't go abroad too much. Uh, I, I believe they probably would do what is appropriate for a war criminal of his uh, dignity, or lack of dignity. Uh, they probably kill him, and he probably knows that, but uh, here in America, uh, yeah, he, he, hell, I just saw Hitler. Have you believed that one or not? You know, he, the motherfucker, the sissy goose stepping fucking fairy that he be. As a McDonald's on, you know, in Hollywood. In fact, war criminals are just free to fucking. Yet, our prison systems are just fucking full 
a fucking people that have gotten their life set up, fucking ratted off, you know, everything. I mean, and it's terrible. I have, my heart goes out so much to so many people in this fucking who are victims of this broken uh, legal and justice system. Um, it's just it's so saddening. Um, I, I I can never see. I think it's a crime against humanity when anybody is any anybody is locked up for possessing or ingesting or cultivating a substance as themselves any substance. <laughs> As a consenting adult, I think it's it's just absolutely a crime against humanity that decades that these people get, the ones who have to take the fall, decades of, you know, psychological fucking torment, while the motherfuckers who are going out and em by uh, employed by the government, killing people in mass droves because they're on kill lists or whatever you want to call it by, by the man. Uh, they're able to walk free. It's like the pedophiles that are allowed to just walk around free with protection from the government. And the pedophilia that is so rampant in this country, I don't see it firsthand. Shit like that doesn't happen around me because I would appropriately not allow that to happen. However, I know that um, pedophiles are allowed to walk free after they fucking broker deals or get a small amount of time and are fucking become... You know, government stooge pigeons or rats, or lying rats, we'll call them, because their information, you know, it's like um, what I've said of the uh, mass majority news media in this country. <coughs> what uh, It's interesting they call it news because where do they get their information? We got to figure 99% comes from either the government <coughs> or unconfirmed sources. That's what you want to fucking believe. And I'm being completely sarcastic there. <clears throat> I think they should just go from calling it news to bullshit, which would be perfectly appropriate. I mean, being that they get all their... Yeah, the, the government is lying. Yeah, and, you know, no confirm. It's very rare to see what I... I, I love documentaries. I grew up watching them. Uh, you know, real-time documentation, not this shit I see all the time with pixelation and, you know, cover, you know uh, audio mixed with, you know editing and video about news and like setting up people for instance if they said like well there's been a store been robbed if it came over the screen which it likely has to some extent this is completely a theoretical you know situation um the news coming on and saying well uh the 7-eleven was robbed um we're looking for a black gentleman uh in his 30s you know six foot or so okay so here's why what they do in many cases, they can uh, show a fucking edited, cropped, uh, photoshopped uh, picture up on their, uh, <clears throat> you know, the news screen of, you know, a man kind of fuzzy, not be able to make him out. And then whoever they want, you know, they, they likely had it in mind before they did that to uh, set up somebody who they wanted for other reasons. And that shit happens all the time. Now, that was completely theoretical, just something I was using it as an example. But it happens all the time, shit like that. Or another one, something of the sorts. I, re I remember reading in a paper like a year or so ago something about a man <coughs> you know, being found in the river and uh, police would not disclose his gender, his uh, name, his identity, or anything about him. Um, and, you know... That's what a lot of them do. They, uh, when stuff like that happens, it's because they're covering it up. I'm not one. You know, it's funny when people call me a rat because, hey, I never had to be told what I consider a rat. Um, that's in my heart ever since I was a kid. I never had to be taught not how to rat. I don't consider it. I know it's not a rat. I'm perfectly. But when people who are using our police forces to kill off a man and using them as a, the government is a uh, uh, protection to stooge everybody else off and yeah they could they actually are calling people like me rats now um actually when no i consider them rats they're the ones you know using our police forces you know against our fellow people and you know to set them up and